Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this week I wanted to try out a spread that'll work for my 2024 planner. So I've decided to just use the A6. I've gifted the take a note to my friend. And so I want to test out some spreads in this Hobonichi Cousin. So stick around and be inspired regardless of what planner you decide to use next year. So this past couple of weeks as I'm thinking about the planner system for 2024, I realized that I need a one book planner for 2024. I want to be efficient. I want to have something that's lightweight that I can carry around everywhere. So obviously an everyday carry. However, I need these components that I have currently in my Hobonichi. I want to have time blocking. I want to have the Alistair method. So how do I do that in an A6? What I realize is that I am actually a daily planner. So what if I do my time blocking in the dailies and use my vertical weekly for a rolling weekly or Alistair method task list? Another thing that I want to consider is to minimize the number of colors and be and try a more minimalistic approach with this week's setup because logistically speaking, if I'm going to use the A6 and it's going to be my everyday carry, I don't think it's going to be feasible to carry my entire stationary collection around with me. That obviously defeats the purpose. So this week's spread is going to be more minimalistic. I'll just pick, you know, one color. So my, my Energel Klena, my Tombow, one highlighter color, and then the Tombow um, brush pen for shadows, and also a ruler. The pens on the left are just for decorative purposes as I set up the spread, but I don't think I'll be bringing them around with me. So let's get started. So on the top here, I still like to have an at-a-glance look of the events that's going on this week. On the left-hand side here, I love my Bailey routine section, so that's definitely going to still be there. So let's get started with that. This is a washi that I got from the Coffee Monsters Co. It's similar to the other one that I used a couple weeks ago, but it's slightly different. The background is a lot lighter, and there's some gold foil. I don't know if you guys could see that, but it's super cute. I think I'm going to put that up here for decoration. So let's divide up the page here. So everything above this line will be events. I'm going to start populating Bailey's routines first. This week I want to get back into my habit of reading a book on a daily basis. I'm starting off this new book in the series. It's about Aaron, Moses' brother. I think it's going to be an interesting read. I read the first couple of pages and there seems to be a one-sided sibling rivalry from Aaron toward Moses. I think this is a really relatable scenario for siblings, especially for the older brother or older sister, how their life changed when the baby came. I wonder if some of the decisions that Aaron made was subconsciously influenced by this envy toward Moses. All that to say, I am looking forward to reading this book. Let's put a sticker to fill up that space. I think I'm going to cut it so that it's at an angle and doesn't take up the other section. 
I want to start daily journaling again this week. I have not been able to journal the last couple of weeks because I've just been super busy. So I'm looking forward to that. I think I'm going to use this sticker and just cut the catch up in planners since obviously it's not catching up in planners but journaling but I think the um, icon or the emoji is perfect. I could keep that catch up in planner just in case I want to use it for some other time. So as I mentioned, the top section is for events and my vision is for these weekly sections of the planner to be a dashboard of some sort, the weekly dashboard. I have a glance of what the events are for the week. I have a section, a running list of all the tasks that I would be needing to do or wanting to do this week. When I did time blocking in the weeklies, it kind of shrinks down the section for my rolling weekly or Alistair method task section. So I want to have a fuller page of the Alistair method because again, this is something that in my A6 common planner, the idea is to have the weekly pages of the common planner be a dashboard, a small section for the events so I could look at it at a glance. And then the majority of the section is for the tasks list. And the time blocking will be in the dailies. On the right hand page, I plan to do my subtasks, for example, the laundry projects, the video recording projects, um, dinners that I plan for the week. So all at a glance. So I have my dashboard for my YouTube channel and then my dinners. I'm working on my laundry section. I think I'm going to use this sticker for the laundry. So these bottom sections are going to be for my packing list, a note section, and my next week section. I really like the college ruled paper look that I did last week, so I'm doing it again here. But look at this, y'all. I mean, it's smear galore. I have to move on and just deal with it, but that did not make me happy one bit. Anyway, I think I'm going to use this sticker for the packing list. I am going on a retreat, a youth group retreat with Stronghold. It's called Fall Frenzy. So I'll be there this weekend, driving up on Friday. I think this road trip sticker will be perfect. How cute is that? Well, there you go, folks. That is the weekly dashboard in the Hoponichi Cousin. However, we're not done yet because we need to time block and we need to do some daily planning. So let's get started. First off, I want to get rid of these pre-printed times. Currently each dot is an hour and I want to be able to customize it a bit more where a dot may be half hour intervals or one hour intervals. 
So essentially the scaling is like, do you want to zoom in to that hour of your day or do you want to zoom out? So if you want to zoom in, you do half hour intervals. If you want to zoom out, you do one hour intervals. I hope that makes sense. Then you start time blocking. And then labeling everything that we did in my last plan with me video. Instead of doing the time blocking in the weekly pages, we're doing it in the daily pages. The next section I want to add is my task section. And I'm doing something different in the sense that it's not just a list, but a list with categories. It's similar in terms of the look as the Alistair method or the um, projects that we did in the vertical weeklies. However, this is specific to tasks. So I want us to kind of think about our tasks for, let's say in this case, Monday, right? What are the tasks that we're getting from our rolling weekly for Monday? We list them out here in our dailies. And then we give them categories. Are they less than five minute tasks? Are they more than 30 minute tasks? Can I do it on my iPhone or on my phone? Is it house cleaning or cleaning related? Is it an important task? And is it a fun task? So these are some of the categories that will help me make decisions on which task to prioritize that day. For example, if I'm in the car waiting for Kezia while she has her piano lesson, what are some things I can get done on my phone? What I like about this layout is I don't have to think much. I can just go to my vertical weekly and list all the things that need to get done for that particular day and then categorize and prioritize after. So let me walk through this with you. Recording the real-time plan with me is gonna take more than 30 minutes and it's important. Recording the Monday short is also gonna take me more than 30 minutes, it's important. Um, washing and drying the laundry is cleaning related. Um, texting my friend about worship is going to take me less than five minutes and I could do that on my phone. And reading the book, The Priest, is going to take me more than 30 minutes, but it's a fun thing to do. So I'm able to look at that at a glance and figure out, okay, what do I need to tackle first with the time that I have and where I'm at? Another thing I like about planning in my dailies and doing the time block in my dailies is stickers. I mean, I can use these stickers without it looking overwhelming and cray cray. When I put stickers in the weekly layout for certain events, as cute as it is when I'm decorating it, I think when I look back at it, it's a bit much. I think minimal in the weeklies and a few stickers stickers here and there in the dailies is more aesthetically pleasing for me and this is what's fun about this layout. So right now I'm coloring this so that I can just show you that there's still plenty of space for journaling purposes 
and you can have this layout even if you have an A6 size common planner, even if you use the take a note, the weekly and daily pages will allow you to have these time blocking spaces as well as journaling space and the task section that I'm showing here. So this is pretty versatile and I hope you give it a try. I still have lots of 2024 planner videos lined up, so click the notification bell, like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.